As president and CEO of Bay Bank, a community bank located in Green Bay, Wisconsin, Jeff Bowman has over 30 years of banking experience and is a strong advocate of economic development activity in Wisconsin's Indian country. We caught up with Jeff while he was at the National Congress of American Indians annual convention to learn more about Bay Bank. Well, the bank was started in 1995. Um, in the mid-90s, there were a lot of bank mergers going on, so a lot of small community banks were being gobbled up by the large banks, and it left the void of the service that a small bank can provide to uh, local customers. And so there was a group of area businessmen that had the idea of forming a brand new bank in, in Green Bay, and they approached the uh, Oneida tribe, and uh, they went into business together. They both put in uh, half of the money to get the bank capitalized and get it launched. That was in 1995 when the bank opened. And then about five years later, the Oneida tribe uh, purchased uh, the interest of the other uh, uh, founding members. So since 1995, the last 17 years, um, you know, the bank has been owned solely by the Oneida Nation now. Serving uh, Oneida tribal members, it, it's a huge part of our business and a very important part of the business. And in fact, that was one of the reasons why the tribe was interested in helping capitalize the bank, is they saw that people in the Oneida community weren't getting the service that they should get um, uh, for banking. So today we originate about anywhere between five to 600 consumer loans. And most of those loans are to Oneida tribal members. About half of them are unsecured small dollar loans for you know average size is about $1,500. And that's a hard loan for people to obtain at an affordable rate. A lot of times they're going to a payday um, lending store or a short term lending store where the interest rates are outrageous. It makes it really hard for those people to uh, uh, pay those loans back. So we provide a small dollar loan service uh, uh, with affordable terms. That's about half of the volume uh, each year. The other half of the consumer loans are used car loans. According to Jeff, this allows people to get a reliable used vehicle, which is a valuable service to community members. We enjoy a lot of used car uh, loan business and it helps a lot of tribal members. So we're, we, we, we love helping people in that way. The other uh, line of business that we're really proud of is we are the largest originator and servicer of mortgage loans under the HUD 184 loan program in the Great Lakes area. Not only do we help Oneida tribal members, but we have a strong presence in all the tribal communities in Wisconsin. Uh, Oneida, uh, Menominee, Stockbridge, um, Ho-Chunk, all the Ojibwe tribes in northern Wisconsin. In the last couple of years, we've also, uh, also uh, branched off into lower and upper Michigan. And so today we have over $60 million of mortgage loans uh, in that portfolio. Every one of those borrowers is a member of a federally recognized tribe. That helps tribal communities tremendously because you're converting renters into homeowners. Uh, you're helping people uh, build equity in their primary residence. And that loan product is a great tool. Um, so we're, we're real proud to be a, a big player uh, in that line of business. It's really important, not only just to the community members, but it creates a, a, a strong and a reliable revenue source for the bank. Another program that is unique to the Oneida Nation is the Home Ownership Independent Purchase Program, or HIP, that allows enrolled Oneida Nation members to purchase a home within the Oneida reservation boundaries. There's no way that any tribe can generate enough cash flow to satisfy the need for mortgage lending in, in their community. So Oneida came up with a very creative program. For example, let's say you had a budget of $500,000 a year to help with home ownership for tribal members. One way to deploy that money is you can make five $100,000 loans and create five new homeowners. But Oneida came up with a, a, a very innovative program recently where they figured out how to leverage that $500,000 and, and stretch it, make it go farther. Instead of using a finite amount of money to help fund five house purchases, you can take that same pot of money and help multiple homeowners purchase a house, but the tribe is only putting in $10,000 on each transaction instead of $100,000. So it's a really unique and innovative way to increase home ownership in the community. Bay Bank is also very active in small business lending. 
about 75% of their loan portfolio is in commercial loans. The things that we really like doing is seeing a small business grow and when they're renting a building and then they have the opportunity to buy their first building. And so when you move from renting to owning a business, when, uh, a building when you're a small business, all of a sudden you're building equity. And so it's really nice to see those small business people transition to, uh, to owning larger assets. But small business lending is important to us both in the general Green Bay area. We have a lot of customers at the bank, both tribal and non-tribal, but we really love helping tribal owned businesses. You know, the tribal communities in, in Wisconsin are, are, are near and dear to our heart, and we really think that's uh, important to the bank. In fact, in the mission statement of the bank, actually reduce the writing in our strategic plan, uh, we lay out what target groups we're interested in, and that's the Oneida community, the Green Bay community at large, and the other tribal communities of Wisconsin and making sure that when the, the tribes in the Great Lakes area need something, they think of Bay Bank.